In this video, we will be discussing about the properties of Z transform in that scaling of Z in Z domain. Okay, scaling in Z domain. So, what definitions is if X of n is a signal, Z transform of that is X of Z, then alpha power n, where alpha is nothing but a complex number, okay, into X of n. So, I am just multiplying here alpha power n to the same signal for that z transform will be x of z by alpha that's it okay x of z by alpha so this thing we have to prove so scaling basically multiplying with alpha power n where alpha is a complex number so let us go for the proof what happens here by the definition z transform of x of n what is that it is nothing but x of z correct it is x of z which is equal to we have the formula n equal to minus infinity to infinity x of n z power minus n this is a formula for x of z x of z is nothing but z transform of x of n small n or small x okay this is capital x now here i have to bring this i have to find the z transform of this term so z transform of alpha power n x of n will be equal to what so I have to bring this term over here so this term will come over here so this will be summation n equal to minus infinity to infinity it will be alpha power n x of n into z power minus n okay just multiplying alpha power n here so now what will happen now i can combine x alpha power n and z power minus n how i, I can combine this will be z power minus n and alpha power n i have to combine this is minus sign this is plus sign so this thing has to remain the same z power minus n because we have to compare it with the standard equation here also z power minus n is there so you should not change z power minus n so what you have to, you have to change alpha power n you can change it to minus sign how we can change so see here z power minus n is there alpha i can write it as alpha power minus one whole thing power minus n correct it's the same thing alpha power minus one into whole thing whole thing power minus n so it is basically alpha power n only so what will happen here so i'll just write it so summation n equal to minus infinity in infinity x of n is there alpha power minus one whole power minus n into z power minus n okay this is the thing okay so that i can combine now it is a multiplication thing so i can combine these two so summation n equal to minus infinity to infinity x of n now what will happen alpha power minus 1 into z whole thing power minus n ok minus n i have combined now the next thing here you can see when you compare this with the standard equation over here so what you can observe x of n is there x of, is there, x of n is there now here z power minus n minus is it minus n is there correct instead of z what we have we have alpha power minus 1 into z we have so what will happen will it be x of z no it will be x of alpha power minus n z just observe carefully for this thing here it is z so it is alpha uh, x of z here it is alpha power minus 1 z so it will be x of alpha power minus 1 z correct so i can write it as which is equal to x of alpha power minus 1 into z or in other words x of otherwise z by alpha alpha power minus 1 is nothing but 1 by alpha right so it will be z by alpha so x of z by alpha so what is the final thing so i can write it as z transform of alpha power n into x of n will be equal to x of z by alpha this is what we have to prove you can see over here this is what we had to prove the transform of this is nothing but this so we have proved by taking up the the standard formula of x of z that is nothing but the z transform of this